Back in early spring, on a trip to the Netherlands, we visited the southern town of Veert to catch up with the country's jumping chef to keep at his home stable. Rob Ehrens has experienced success over many years, including winning the FEI Nations Cup in 2017. First up, we went back to basics for his dictionary definition of his profession. It's very easy ex uh, to explain. A chef de keep is in fact a person who uh, takes care of things that the riders don't have to think about things. That means uh, hotel accommodations, uh, declarations at a show, uh, going to team uh, dinners, all those blah blah blahs what goes around and, and meetings at the shows. Uh, that is in fact the role of a chef de keep. So, over the years, what, if he can put his finger on it, has been the key to his success? The, the biggest secret for success, and that has nothing to do with me, is that you need very good riders and very good horses. And the owners who keep the horses. Uh, the string of people around it who makes uh, everything happen. And then my job is very easy. And I must say, I was very lucky in, in my career with that. And, uh, but also I learned from those things that everything goes very quickly also in the other direction. If I look back in, uh, from 2005 till now, we also had ups and downs a lot. But I, I think also that when you have downs, that you have to stay very normal and don't get in a panic situation. Rob, as he says, has had to cope with the ups and downs over the years, but does he manage to remain optimistic? I think one of my... Um, um, very positive points is that I'm very optimistic and uh, there's also part of my nature and I must say if I go to uh, 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 an important competition, a Nations Cup or a championship and I'm already with my head underneath my arm and uh, seeing everything uh, dark then for sure I tell you we, 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 we need a lot of luck to, uh, to win but I think it's the, 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 the the, the most positive thing is to, to be positive and always see uh, that it's not very difficult. The riders, they know their job and the horses, they know the job and then we, 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 we fit it together. One important factor is that Rob has the ability and experience to create a good team spirit amongst his riders. The most important thing is that you create a team. A team which you can work together with. And um, I must say that I'm, always, I'm, I'm, I'm a very happy coach that we are living in a small country with um, very, very realistic riders. And, and I must say, I'm, I'm, I cannot mention a name which cannot fulfill uh, a team membership in the Netherlands. We don't have, and I'm very lucky with that, and we have big names in the sport, but we don't have the big egos which are on a top of the hill and uh, thinking about we want everything and who is going to tell me whatever I have to do. We don't have that. And maybe that is also the, the being realistic in, in, in our little country, but I think also that is our strength in the end. The Netherlands made their 2018 Nations Cup Series debut in the second leg in La Baule, France. The non-scoring Brazilians took the honours, but Rob Ehrens' team had the satisfaction of securing maximum points of the six European Division I countries chasing qualification for the Barcelona final. The Dutch riders pipped the Swiss by a single fault, thanks to a double clear from the world number one, Harry Schmolders, which was very satisfying for the chef. It was a good result, it was an extremely good class and uh, yeah, I must say also Brazil did an, an, an utmost best, they had very good rounds and very solid and everything was close by each other, the number one, two and three and that makes our sport also very nice and exciting. Following their success in Slovakia, Andy Kistler's Swiss team are still leading the rankings and now have a home tie as the Nations Cup moves to St Gallen at the beginning of June.